Growing up, I always felt different. I never really fit in. I was always uh, knew everyone, but never part of the clique. I tried to have girlfriends, and uh, that was disastrous on almost every occasion. I think I punched a hole in the wall one year just because I felt so different and so lost. My parents were furious at me because I had been suspended and had so many behavioral and drug-related problems. After school, a lot of the times, I would walk home by myself, take the bus, and every so often I would get jumped, um, I would get mugged. I, mean, I was constantly called, you know, faggot. I was constantly pushed in the hallways, uh, even, you know, in, in the places that I thought were most safe. At one time, one of my bullies actually physically threatened me and put a knife to my neck. Not really having anybody to talk to about it, that was probably the hardest part. I wanted to be an animator and I, that was like what I did. I could see myself getting better at it and I think just the passion I put into that, I just ignored everything else that was going on. I have pursued the parts of me that were geeky, Dungeons and Dragons, doing campaigns and maps for that when I was in high school. And that's what I do for a living now. We all know that artists and poets are, are often gay, um, but database programmers are also gay. There are gay people everywhere, and you can find those people, even if you just have two or three people as a support system. Whether it's a school teacher, a guidance counselor, or someone even maybe at your church who is able to be there for you. I gravitated toward the people who allowed me to feel okay. So I think a lot about those people and how their acceptance and encouragement of me made it easier for me to come out. Coming out to myself was a little more difficult because uh, uh, I, I, didn't, I didn't really, I, it took me a long time to realize it. I just thought I was odd. I was being told all my life that I could be myself, I could be myself, except for the fact that you can't be gay. I never actually formally came out. My parents figured it out. Eventually you're gonna, you're gonna admit to yourself and be honest with yourself. And that's, I think that's the first step that you're gonna have. And that's, that's what's gonna change everything for you. And when I actually told my parents, um, the thing they were most worried about was that that was gonna you know, be a disadvantage for me. They said absolutely that they loved me. They just had a hard time wanting to share that news with our family and friends. But you should realize it's, in the end, kind of like ripping a Band-Aid off of a wound. Um, it happens and it hurts, and it really hurts a lot at the time, but it heals. All the people who did matter made the, made the jump. None of the things I feared happened. Um, they loved me anyway, and that was a big moment for me. For the first time in my life, I felt like, you know, my parents were coming to me and sort of trying to figure me out. It's kind of opening up their world as well. Um. I got married in 2008 in the very small window where uh, we were able to legally get married in California, and that made me really happy. I wish I'd known then what I know now, that actually the most interesting people, the, the most successful people that I know are the ones that are different. All sorts of people from high school and junior high, those people that, you know, sometimes I was even scared of, some people that seemed like bullies, turned out that they were gay. Uh, it turned out that practically my whole lunch table in junior high was gay. Looking back at that time from when I first came out to the pictures of my family today walking me down the aisle, I could never have imagined it. It doesn't change instantaneously, it um, kind of changes gradually. And then you have an aha moment where you look back and you're like, I can't believe that this is my life. I feel like I don't have that stress of, you know, trying to be something I'm not or trying to impress other people because they may not like me if I'm gay. Those people who bullied you wind up in horrible places, <laughs> and that's really true. I've graduated from college, I found a really good job, I've had found a few loves along the way. Well, you don't want me to talk about love, but um, I'll talk about other things. <laughs> well, hope, you know. As you get older, it just naturally does get better because you find your way. You can go into a field of work that you enjoy. Uh, there's so many different ways you can express yourself. It doesn't matter that I'm gay at all, actually. Once people find out, they're like, oh yeah, yeah okay, whatever, you know. I'm so proud of being so obviously gay now that it, it seems ridiculous that at the time I was so embarrassed. 
I don't even hesitate to mention that I have a partner. I'm, I'm proud of it. I want people to meet him. I want people to know him. Uh, it's someone that I love very much, and you know, I want to share him with everyone. It's something I never even dreamed of. I mean, it's being really possible, and I'm so fortunate in that way. I think about it all the time. It not only gets better, but we need you around. We need you here. It only gets better if you're here for it. Keep in mind that it absolutely gets better. And the things that you love, and the things about you that you think are weird, might actually turn out to be the best traits you have. If they give you a hard time for being who you are, give them the boot. Show them the door. Somebody else will want to be there.